What's going on guys, Matt here, Research Engineers. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Let's talk about Google Merchant Center suspensions right now, okay? I'm seeing a lot of comments on my channel of people asking me to check out their website to see what I think about why their channel got suspended. And I'm seeing a lot of people in Facebook groups that I'm in get suspended for really apparently no reason. If you ask me, I don't even think there is a reason. I'm not a total expert on the topic. I came here today to share with you my honest opinion and what I think and how I see the forecast of drop shipping on Google for the near future. Let's jump into the video. So first things first, I wanted to go over some Google policies on drop shipping. Now, if you if you put in a Google search for is drop shipping allowed on Google, you're going to get a lot of different pieces of information from ecommercelifestyle.com. This is Anton Crayley's website. Is drop shipping allowed on Google? Um, he's going to go in depth saying basically add a privacy policy, configure your merchant center settings correctly, have a contact us page with multiple ways for shoppers to reach you, review all of Google's terms of service. So he's, he's essentially saying he's made a tons of videos about this and, um, you know, talk to people in his Facebook group, basically saying it's allowed. Don't worry about it. You know, you might have just done something wrong. I think what a lot of these types of websites and these types of blogs that are talking about these Google suspensions, I think one of the things that they're leaving out is that new stores are getting just banned and suspended like crazy. Now, there could actually be real things wrong with their privacy policy, or there could just be something completely wrong with their business model entirely. Like, for example, long lead times. Let's look at the let's look at the Google Merchant Center policy on misrepresentation. So Google clearly states our policy Google doesn't want users to feel misled by the content promoted in shopping ads, and that means being upfront, honest, and providing them with the information that they need to make informed decisions. For this reason, we don't allow the following. Promotions that prompt users to initiate a purchase, download, or other commitment without first providing all relevant information and obtaining the user's explicit consent. So this, for example, would be something like um, if you were to put a capture page or something like that in front of your product and then link it to your product like that's not allowed like you you can't just you can't put a squeeze page on google shopping ads that's not allowed promotions that represent you or your products in a way that is not accurate realistic and truthful so the, these are really just kind of vague terms guys like if you get suspended for misrepresentation that is because google for some reason believes that you have made promotions that represent you or your products in a way that is not accurate realistic and truthful that's just what they felt. They may have done some research and called up some people. And to be honest with you, I don't believe that they really did. So they're just kind of, it's just very vague. You know, this is the reason why I really do not feel that people should be relying on Google. From what I've seen in my experience, I'm in a large Facebook group with tons of people in it. The people that are still on Google are those that are almost like grandfathered in to being able to advertise on Google because they've been there for a little while. Everybody that starts a new store gets suspended, man. Like that, that's why I'm just like, dude, don't even worry about Google. Just go on Bing. Okay. And look, I could be wrong. You know, I get it. Like, you know, if you can find success on Google, by all means, please go do it. My thing is I don't want to rely on Google as my main source of traffic. I basically have no control over my business by doing that. So if I can get Google to work, by all means, salute, do it. Thank you. But for me personally, I'm just kind of trying to take a step back and learn these other sources of traffic that I can that I can rely on that are going to work for my business in the long term so that I don't have to worry about getting the snap overnight and then my business is just done for. Now, you guys, I really recommend that you take advantage of my Bing ads coaching help. Click the link in the description and book a free call with me. Book a free session with me. You and I can get on a Zoom call. I'll explain to you a little bit of what my process is like and how I'm able to help your business. I really believe that Bing ads is a great solution to help counteract any kind of crazy Google suspensions so that you're actually able to generate more revenue in the long term and, and, and not have to worry about just getting your whole business shut down overnight. Examples of what's not allowed. Failure to clearly and conspicuously disclose the payment model and full expense that a user will bear. So make sure that you have your prices advertised properly. Make sure at the bottom of your of your Shopify main homepage that you have all the 
you know, cards that you take and everything. Shopify themes normally just automatically come with that, just, but you do have the option to take that off. So don't take that off. That is required. Pricing of products, total price currency may depend on additional conditions impacting the total cost, blah, blah, blah. Failure to clearly and conspicuously disclose all related conditions before and after purchase. Examples, missing merchant terms and conditions or shipping information return and refund policy that is unclear, missing, or not easily discoverable. You wanna have very clear return policies. Like if you have a bad return policy that says, you know, uh, user, if needs to return, has to pay $300, whatever. Like, you know, if, if they have if they have any kind of return policy, like a lot of this kind of takes common sense, guys. Look over your return policies, check it out and say like, okay, like is this something that Google would flag? You have to understand Google is extremely strict. If you want to advertise on their platform, you really have to play by their rules. That means no black hat, even if it's not necessarily a bad business model, even if it's a return policy that kind of makes sense, like, hey, our products are expensive, so you have to have a 3% you know, return fee, something like that. Google would look at that and just hate that. you know. So just be very careful when using Google. Be very cautious. Okay, unavailable promotions. This is a big one. Promising products or promotional offers that aren't available for users. Examples, promoting products that are not stocked, promoting a deal that is no longer active, call to action and promotion that isn't easily achievable from the landing page. Okay, point being, they want you to have products in stock. Now here is a, a form thread from Google Ads Help from one of the moderators in the group. His name is Emmanuel. Now there's two big points that he's hitting at, at that saying drop shipping isn't allowed on Google, where he's saying you must stock all goods in your warehouse. And he links to the very link where it says that. And he's saying, if you see policy violations, report them. Unacceptable business practices, concealing or misstating information about the business or product. Note that we may review information from multiple sources, including promotion, website, accounts, and third-party sources in determining whether a merchant or site is untrustworthy. Google takes their brand extremely seriously. And if anybody, if for any reason, is jeopardizing their credibility on the internet, they take that very seriously. So like it, it, Facebook, Google, these are two giant platforms. They're great sources of traffic. They are beautiful sources of traffic, but also not the most reliable. Again, this is why I have been trying to push people over to Bing. If you want my Bing ads help, click the link in the description or click the link in my bio. I would be more than happy to jump on a Zoom call with you guys, get set up, help you set your Bing ads up, and then set you up for success so that you actually, in the long term, have a better chance at success rather than just getting your business flipped like a switch out of nowhere. My whole point is like, Okay, if you want to advertise on Google, by all means, please do it. I'm not telling you, oh, I hate Google. If you use Google, I hate you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying long term, you would want to look at other sources of traffic. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you want to book a coaching call with me again, one last time, you can click the link in the description to get that started. I really believe I can help you guys in a massive way. And I love talking to you guys. I love getting on Zoom calls. So it'd be really cool to meet some of you. If you found value from this video, please click the like button, comment, subscribe. It, everything really helps the channel grow so I can help more and more people just like me and you have success in e-commerce. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Peace.